All right, Kenny Ken back again. Uh, if you've been following so far, uh, you should have your meatballs ready to be flattened out for the patties. And this is what they should look like. I got about six of them here. Beautiful. Look at that. You see all the ingredients in there, right? Definitely. And by the way, I'm looking for a cameraman. So if you're looking to record, if you're good at editing, whatever, I'm looking. Uh, serious inquiries only, though. So I'm really looking to get out there, branch out my cooking skills, because I'm good. Auntie Fee, I'm coming for you. We, we, we having a challenge. In the store, we having a challenge. I'm going to find you. We going to cook off, grill off, bake off, whatever you want to do. However you want to do it. It's, it's going down, though. We're, we're getting it. We're doing it. But uh, in the meantime, so we got our burgers ready. We got our plank. It's out there getting heated up, ready to go. Now, um, all I want to do is flatten these out. I don't really have like a burger flattener, whatever they call them. So what I like to use is just simple stuff, you know. All you need one of these little things. It's a it's a simple little tablespoon measure, whatever. Really good for flattening stuff though. You'd be surprised. So I'm gonna put this down right here so you can kind of see me do this. Okay. All right. So you take them and as you want to kind of make a little room so you can do it, but what you got to do is just flatten it down like this, boom. And this is actually really good because it makes the burgers flat, kind of keeps them, you know, kind of consistent at the same time, you know. That's a good one. I think, there you go, kind of move it out the way, I'm flatten this one. Cause you don't want to make them too flat because you no one want no one likes a flat burger. No one. I, I hate flat burgers. I like I like a little bit of beef, you know, a little bit of beef behind mine. So just flatten them up. Oh yeah, it's coming out perfect. Yeah. Make them they're a little bit, you know, they're a little bit uh a little bigger than a white castle burger, but about, probably about the same size, honestly. But they're a lot thicker. And that's what counts right there, thickness. For all y'all wondering out there. And um, it's just, it's just, you know, science. It's the name of the game. No one likes a flat burger. So, you give it a little, keep it consistent with the thickness. Oh, let me get my spatula real quick. Sorry to leave you guys. Oh, me. Ah, there it is. Got the spatula. That way I can kind of move the burgers out the way as I'm flattening them. As I flatten them. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. There you go. Okay. And then you just take it again. Just flatten as you've been doing. I don't have one of those meat tenderizer, you know, mallets. So, I just use the next best thing. Which is a measure, I mean, honestly, you know, like especially because you can actually pick them up and move them and not mess them up, so I'm going out the way, go, kind of make a little room for that one, and then you flatten this last one out, kind of keep it together, if you have to, you know, get in there, get a little dirty, move it around if you have to, Keep these burgers together. They're gonna be good. Okay. The last little bit. Voila. So you should have six evenly flattened patties. I'm just ready to get fired up. Look at those boys. Man, oh man. That's how you do it here. Polo run bar and grill, baby. That's how we do. All right. So, uh, as we're going to do it right now, take a little drink. Ah, okay. 
Walk with me, walk with me. Come on over here. Look out, cats. We got two cats. Dottie Girl and Victoria. All right. Woo. Got the cedar plank smoking right now. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. Don't touch it. This is what it looks like grilling. Probably can't see it. That's okay. You know it's there. All right. So, what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to put a couple on the plank and then just a couple on the top right there. Just for, you know, cooking purposes. We can kind of cook them all at the same time. But uh, some will get that flavor, some won't, I guess. That's okay, though. As long as some of them get it, you know. So, take it. And, hold on, make sure I'm going to do this. Like I said, looking for a cameraman. Uh, I need you. I need you, boy. Put you up here. Okay. So, you take it. Come on, spatula. Come on, burgers. You just kind of. Get under there, pick them up one at a time, and just drop them on there. Boom. And the thing about these planks, they they just cook. It cooks evenly. It cooks perfect. Keeps the, keeps the uh, meat moist, so you don't have to worry about you know flipping it. You really don't. I don't even flip the burgers. So. Put them on there and let them cook. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I got three burgers on the plank, and I'm putting three on the top rack just to kind of get, you know, different flavor versions. Just to kind of see if it does make a difference, cause you gotta you gotta make sure you know you know what you're talking about out here. All right, well, they're on the grill. Uh, you can't see them right now, obviously, but I will let you know when they're about to be done just so you can kind of see the color difference. Excuse me. A little color difference to see if there really is a difference. And uh, I'll sign in next time.